when I got there, I just was, uh, I almost didn't even audition my second year, my sophomore year. But they put an ad in the Daily Northwestern. So I went down to Old Willard Hall. It's gone. I think it's long gone. I don't remember when they tore it down. It looked like that old thing in an Alfred Hitchcock movie, you know, up on the hill. We were always afraid it might collapse. But walked in this room one day, and Mr. Bainham was sitting in a swivel chair. The room was subdued, wasn't quite totally dark, but, and he was sitting with his back to the wall and he on a swivel chair, and when he wanted to, he could look at the auditioner, and then when he didn't, why well, he'd look at the wall. So I got out my clarinet, went over, sat down, and my gosh, I thought I'd died and gone to heaven because right in front of me was a national emblem, and I played that 40 times in high school, but I just thought, well, I'm just, I'm just going to be a slam dunk, which is an expression that didn't use in those days, but... Anyway, I took a deep breath and I started to play the national anthem and it just didn't sound right. It just sounded terrible, even for me. And Bainham didn't say a word. I took another breath and took another shot or two and it just sounded terrible. And I noticed by that time he was facing the wall. <laughs> and so he said, uh, Mr. O'B, you are playing a B-flat clarinet, aren't you? And I said, yes. And he said, well, maybe it would sound better if you were trying to play a C melody sax part, I just thought I was going to die right in my tracks because here I'd been sitting playing on a wrong key with a B flat instrument. I thought I was the end of the world. He said, Glenn, we just, I just don't think we can use your clarinet. But maybe we can, and this is a quote, maybe we can find a place, we we'll just have to find a place where you will hurt the band the least. How would you like to be drum major? I couldn't believe my ears. He said, well, you come out tomorrow and try out. And I thought, oh, gosh. I showed up the next day, and uh, he announced me as a drum major. And I was astonished because I thought we had to try out. And then he later told me, he said, I should have told you yesterday. Don't worry about it. Those people are really fine musicians, and we need them in ranks. So I'd been a drum major in high school and junior high, and, oh, maybe a couple of hours in the Navy band at Great Lakes. So it wasn't totally new, but it was just absolutely the there's no word, no expression that uh, can possibly communicate the euphoria of being in that spot. I, we had a lot of adventures.